if you want to go in and take a look around and we said uh yeah and uh and he, basically he said well lock up on your way out <laughs> How you doing buddy? Welcome to the silo. Beside the name is 579 SMS Site 10. 579 is the name of the squadron. SMS Strategic Missile Squadron. Site 10 is because around the Roswell are 12 silos. Around the country are 72. Only the this kind. This kind is Atlas F missile. The Atlas F missile is the first intercontinental ballistic missile in US. The program started in 1955. The first launch about the test rocket is in 1959. The range about the test rocket is between the eight to nine thousand miles. Before the this kind, only our middle range rocket. The most powerful is Duck Hunt. It's a thousand miles range only. Now are some big difference, can cross the ocean. Decided to start the construction in 1960, then in 1962, the government in two and a half years made 72 sites around the country in middle of nowhere, top secret. They don't have some for plan for, plan for view some example. Yeah, it's starting zero. And don't have technology, it's pure old school. Old the school. best school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, old school like old yeah, school. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm old school guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and let me tell you, they make amazing job. Yeah. Really amazing job. And please enjoy the sight. Be careful, watch your step, and take care, buddy. Yeah, sounds great, sir. Thank you very much. No, no, it's my pleasure. All right, so, yeah, we don't know. We're making this up as we go along. Uh, so you're, we're seeing it for the first time just like you. We had a tremendous trip. Oh, it was incredible. Yeah, it was very lucky. Yeah, Raul was so nice and so trusting. He did say it's at our own risk, so. I told him I didn't have the money to sue anybody anyway. <laughs> All right, well, look, look at the size of these doors. I mean, these doors themselves weigh tons. Oh, sweet. We get to go down there. Wow. Do you remember there was a time period where there was a rash of these sort of low budget horror films that took place in the desert be like a couple that was traveling yeah um, <laughs> and someone let them go in an abandoned missile silo yeah um, just yeah. kind of like kind of like this kind of like this and then all kinds of horrors ensued do not enter isis inside right, this is, oh this must be it this is the place luckily i have a flashlight. Okay, this really looks like a horror movie. Look at what's on the, written on the steps. Death. Death? Yeah, these seem like encouraging signs. Let's go. <laughs> Do you want to come in? Can't let you go in a room, right? Yeah, that's right. I don't know if all the echo is coming across um, in the video, but uh, but it's quite quite the echo in here. Here comes Diane Darling. Alright, let's go around this corner. It's like playing D&D. &D. Well, I might have to blow part of that out, but that's okay. make a great this would make a great haunted house 
Let's look down here. Okay, so yeah, those those flights go all the way down. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I think we'll just go into that room right there. I think. Okay. Yeah, this goes down. I don't know if this thing channels exhaust. Oh, I'll have to I'll have to check this out. Too bad I don't have some chalk or something. The next story down. Yeah, hey, I don't know who Bill Morrison is, but there's this number if you want to check it out. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, they, they gotta fit a whole Atlas missile in here, so it goes down a ways. <laughs> it's scary, but it's great, isn't it? There's Diner Darling up there. He's gonna kill me. Oh, Lisa's been here. <laughs> All right, so we made it down to, this doorway seems to lead to the main silo. So we just walked through that door. We can see, you can see, see if I could get it down there for you. You can see daylight coming in because those doors are open. So yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, I'm good. I'll focus on the camera. All right, I'll keep talking. I'm not sure, you know, how my voice will carry. I'm walking, okay, I'm walking through this corrugated pipe that leads so there's a little hallway, but we'll just get past that. And there's the silo. That's the door <laughs> for that doorway. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get back off of it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that door is ginormous. And you can well understand why. So I'm stepping out into the opening here, into the daylight, and this is the missile silo itself, and that's where the rocket would be, right under those open doors. So we got the open doors right there, and the rocket would be right down here. But yeah, you know, it's a little, uh, looks a little Mad Max. I understand this was built in the 60s. I actually assumed it was built uh, earlier than that, but uh, I'm sure Raul knows what he's talking about. That's amazing. Let's see. Let me see what's over here. I didn't know I was going to get a chance to walk in one, so I didn't really study the plans. <laughs> but I mean, we lucked out so hard. Um, we just stopped by here just to get a look at the silo from the road. And then behind us, Raul pulled in and he had a German uh, film crew who was shooting some footage with drones. And he said, uh, well, after they're done, if you want to, if you want to go in and take a look around. And we said, uh, yeah. And, uh, and he, basically, he said, well, lock up on your way out. <laughs> All right, so let's figure this out. So, yeah, I was wondering how they get to the next levels. There's a spiral staircase over here that looks very uh, institutionally uh, appropriate. So, let me go down here, get a little better look some of this stuff. Look at the springs. 
Yeah, those those must be the mechanisms for operating the doors. Wow. Yeah, after a while it kind of starts to make sense. So I came down, came down a little more. I better get my flashlight up for y'all. Came down a little more from this ladder, this caged ladder. And it goes on down. And I see a, a human sized door there. Alright, so that door that I saw leads to there. So I don't think I'll be going through there. I'm at the base of it that you can see from the top. And it does go down a little further. Show you a shot of the perimeter here. Let me see if I can get my light going. Yeah, and that's the ladder I came, I came down. Let me see what else I can see to the sky all right well I was looking around and I finally found this ladder one more ladder and it comes down here and I think I finally hit bottom I think I'm finally at the bottom of the missile silo that and then this is underneath um, so I'm assuming this is the absolute bottom hell this might even be dirt under here for all I know um, so I'm just taking a quick look. Man, they brought a lot of different colors with them. Look at that bolt. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's a, apparently the whole the whole thing ran on an ever ready battery. <laughs> what the hell is that? What the hell? Man, yeah, I don't even know what that is. Let's see. There's a comb down here. I don't know y'all, I think this is better than uh better than the spaceship, the saucer crash. I don't know, I haven't seen the site yet, so maybe that'll top this. Alright, let's see if I can't see if I can't get back up. All right, I left down and down up at the top of the silo because there's a little tricky footing and uh, this isn't her favorite thing. All right, now I didn't expect that, but I don't know why I didn't. Water. That part's underwater. And sure enough, the uh, ladder runs there. You can go down deeper, but not now. It's all underwater. Yeah, and who knows if that's even the end. It's like a propane tank. They should have put the aliens here. They have uh, another one of these. There's one man that owns both of them. And uh, the other one he's turned into an Airbnb. And this one has remained in its original form and they just give tours uh, but you have to call ahead and uh, Raul will meet you here I'm old school guy I'll have his information in the description 
And he'll take you through the tour. He'll give you a guided tour. And he knows what all this stuff is. I'm not sure if he takes you all the way down here, which is really nice that he let us do this. Because uh, since we're alone in the missile silo, um, I got a chance to go get to the bottom and, and see what it's like down here. Uh, but I had to stop when I ran into water, so but that's okay. This is a uh, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Looks like people threw rocks in here from the, from the top. All right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to climb to the top and see what Diner Darling is doing. It doesn't have to end here. Click on one of the videos below for all some more. And we'd love to have you like, share, and subscribe. And maybe even join. So we can put some more gas in this thing.